Hi, in this video we will walk through the new features of 142 in Survivor.io. Habi has just released a new update 142 for Survivor.io. Let's take a quick look at the release note. In summary, we get 10 new chapters, new skills and equipment and new ways to get gems. Let's dive into it. Number 1. New chapters. We get 10 more chapters to challenge, and so we also get 30 more in the trails. The later the chapter, the more challenging it gets. Number 2. New talents. The talents are in the last tab of the main menu. They give us permanent effects. At level 75, we can get Viva La Materia. It increases skill damage by 5%. At level 80, we can get Overreaction. It decreases CD by 5%. This means the skills can be reactivated 5% faster. Number 3. New Skills. There are two new skills for battles. Durian and Laser Launcher. The durian is a pineapple flying around the screen. It causes damage to enemies it passes. To evolve this skill, we will need to have he fuel. The evolved durian will also fly around the screen and fire missiles around it. It can also block bullets from enemies. Another new skill is Laser Launcher. It fires laser beams around the character to damage the enemies. To evolve it, we will need to have Energy Cube. The evolved Laser Launcher will fire laser beams in a circle that looks like a ritual. I did some tests with these two new skills in chapter 31 to 34. The laser launcher only dealt 3 to 4% of total damage. Alternatively, I would prefer soccer ball. Soccer ball can also deal damage to close targets and its damage is much higher. For durian, the damage is okay. In the early stage of a chapter, it can quickly kill low HP mobs. It can also block bullets so I think it is not a bad choice. Number 4. New Quests and Achievements The new quests and achievements give us quite a lot of gold and gems. The daily quests reset every day. Finishing each quest gives us 10 to 20 points. We can get rewards for every 20 points. The daily quests give us 7 hours of patrol gold, 1 revival, 50 gems and 1 silver chest key in total. The weekly quests are similar to daily quests but they are reset every week. The weekly quests give us 15 hours of patrol gold, 3 revivals, 450 gems and 1 gold chest key in total. By reaching certain levels, leveling up equipment, etc. we can get gems from achievements. Number 5. Gold Piggy. The Gold Piggy let us buy gems at a lower price. Every time we finish a chapter, the Gold Piggy XP will be charged. When the XP is fully charged, we can buy gems of 4 times the values but there are many deals better than this such as Chapter Pack. If you have already purchased all available Chapter Packs, the Gold Piggy would be a good deal. Number 6. Growth Fund. The new Gold Fund costs 5.99 British Pound. It gives us some gems at different character level. At level 45, we can get 11,300 gems in total, which is 1886 gems per British Pound. Comparing to the old Gold Fund. The old gold fund costs 17.99 and gives 40,000 in total at level 45, which is 2223 gems per British pound. If you are about to make the first purchase in the game, I will suggest to buy the old gold fund first, followed by the new gold fund. Both gold funds are the best deals in the game. Number 7. New Events and New Accessories From the official release note, the end of summer event will begin on the 8th of September so it is not in the game yet. There are also two new accessories. Boom's headphones and drip fashion but I have not found them in the game yet. They are probably not yet released until September. Let's see. This is all I would like to share about the new update. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will see you in the next video.